I've arrived in Horsham and just down near the river but that's not why I'm here I've got to use the dump point empty the cassette toilet for the first time you now I won't film the whole thing but you know there's um a job that's got to be done so I've got to get used to it <clears throat> I'll be using two hands for this I think Well, the deed is done for the first time. I will say I prefer our composting toilet at this stage. <laughs> yeah, okay, not my favorite thing to do, but you know, gotta be done. It wasn't really that bad, I guess. There's not really any smell here. Um, but it's just uh, one of those things I gotta get used to, and it'll give me the opportunity really to give a um, honest point of view of comparing a chemical toilet with composting toilet which we've got in our other van so far I'm thinking I'll be leaning towards the composting toilet don't have to look for dump points we'll see how long this one lasts uh, once I put the chemicals in and um, looking forward not really looking forward to the next dump point but it's gotta be done okay that's it for me I'm gonna go and find somewhere to camp for the night Hello, well I've arrived at the Dimboola Recreation Reserve. It's a bit different to my last spot, not quite as quiet. And we've got uh, footy practice on behind us there. Yeah, she's a little bit cold. I think we'll get a bit more rain soon. Looking pretty dark. It's a free camp as well. No facilities here apart from uh, rubbish bin over there. Now I reversed up, up towards this uh, tree and um, Went to get in the van and I thought, oh, it's a bit, bit whiffy here. <laughs> this seems to be the uh, tree where they dump their horse manure. So I'm only here for one night. So I think I'll be inside most of the night anyway. It's pretty cold. So I'm thinking oh, it's not worth, not worth moving for a bit of horse manure. But uh, we are in the country. So yeah, that's what you get, I guess. And it's a free camp, so can't complain. Anyway. I'll go inside and get warm. My first stop today is at the uh, Pink Lake, only like 15 minutes up the road from Dimboola. Go for a bit of a walk down there. It doesn't look overly pink at the moment, but um, not in the camera anyway, you can see it. So there's a designated walking track down here. I'm gonna take a little walk down, it's not far. Just see what it looks like down there. So this is what the pink lake looks like here. Doesn't look overly pink from this angle. Yeah, like it looks um like some of the lake is pink and some of it's kind of blue. So here I am, set up at Serviston Reservoir. There were a couple of people here stopped for lunch earlier, but they've gone and got the place to myself. There's a pontoon down there. A shelter with a picnic table and uh, a few four drive tracks. Pretty muddy and slippery. You, you don't have to go through there. I might have in my younger days, but I thought there's no need to to go through the mud there to get to a spot on the other side. Uh, there is a bit of a bypass track over here as well, where that's also 
fairly churned up and muddy and just walking on there it's uh, really slippery so I chose just to camp over by the lake. Uh, there's plenty of spots there so no issues. Here I am set up down here next to the water. Yeah, the only downside is quite a lot of traffic noise at the moment. I guess that'll die off tonight. And I've got the uh, solar blanket out, dishy out ready to go and just making myself some lunch. So got here quite early today. It'll be interesting to see if we get other people turning up later. after 11 o'clock yet and I'm not on the road but we'll be in a few minutes heading towards the South Australian border it's not far down the road and um, yeah I was here by myself I can't complain about that thank you Serviston Reservoir for the free camp anyway I'm going to hit the road finally um, South Australia here we come 